Hello friends. While I was on TikTok, I saw this. Needless to say, that was pretty fucking terrifying. <laughs> I decided to go investigate further into this incredibly insane woman. Um, to my uh, great displeasure, I found out that she has a YouTube channel um, in which uh, she actually posted a video last week of her like totally harassing this non-binary person. Um, she also was harassing this person over on her TikTok. She has like five different videos of her telling this person the dumbest things. So we're gonna go ahead and go through her YouTube video um, and I am going to react to her reaction. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa Voki. I'm a photographer, an artist, and a sewist from Canada. Why are you so close to the screen? Please back up, it's making me very uncomfortable. And today I wanted to make a video reacting to this YouTuber from the UK named Cops Hate Mo. I am 26 and I'm from Canada, so I have- You already mentioned that you are from Canada. Just say. A little bit more life experience, I would say. And I thought it would be interesting to react to what Cops Hate Mo says makes you non-binary. How well, I knew I was non-binary so that hopefully it might help somebody out there who's also questioning their gender. First off, anyone that's questioning their gender identity, I think the first question you should ask them is why? Why are you questioning your gender identity? And that can be such a I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, if you're questioning your gender identity, you should explore internally why that is. Sure. Confusing and isolating experience. Because you feel like no one else is going through the same thing. You know, cis people just sort of pop out the womb. They're, they're just born and they're like, yo, I'm a dude. Us gender critical people and radical feminists really, really don't like the term cis when applied to people. Cis is a chemistry term and we are not particles. We are human beings. And to assign a gender identity to someone who doesn't believe in gender identity is actually misgendering them. Okay, so that was incredibly stupid. Let's talk about that. Um, cis isn't a gender. It is used to describe someone who identifies with the gender that they were assigned at birth. Cis is not a gender. So you obviously just don't know what the word means. Uh, second, this is something that bothers me about TERFs a lot, is that um, they're hypocrites. Because you're saying you have a problem, oh, people aren't particles, right? But you insist that sex and gender have to be equated when they're not. Not even scientifically, um, but using the most basic understanding of science that you have, you say that if someone has a uterus, they're a woman. If someone has a penis, they're male. Um, so that's, that's sex. But gender is entirely performative and relational, and it's about how we interact with the world and with each other. Um, and cis isn't gender, <laughs> so it kind of just already right off the bat sounds like, one, you're a hypocrite, and two, you have no idea what you're talking about. I just sort of existed, you know, I was a kid, I did my thing. I didn't really think about gender at all. Um, the reason kids don't think about gender or gender identity is because they're kids. And kids don't have a sexuality until they go through puberty and start to figure out who they're attracted to. And I knew I was attracted to boys when I started going through puberty. She just had to throw in that she's straight. She had to. Also, like, we're not not in agreement that kids don't think about gender and sexuality much because they're children. It's not really, that's not really radical of you. It's kind of just... An incredibly mundane thought, but whatever. As soon as puberty hit, I was just so confused. I hated all the changes that were happening to my body. I, I hated them. I was just like, this is completely wrong. When I was 14 and 15, in about 2008, 2009, I wore a t-shirt over my swimsuit while I was swimming because my body was developing and I was not comfortable with people looking at my changing body. I thought being uncomfortable with other people looking at your body and being uncomfortable with your body in yourself, in your own skin, are two different things. All the changes were awful too. I really, really, really didn't want to get my period. When all my friends were talking about getting bras and getting their periods, I was burying my head in the sand, trying to pretend that nothing was ever going to change. I really did not want to grow up. 
It's not that I didn't want to be a woman. I just didn't want to grow up yet. Exactly. You didn't mind being a woman. Those are two different things. What don't you understand? Girls, because of our biology, we're forced to grow up faster. I'm a massive eighth, so I don't know why I thought going to a religious school was a good idea, but you know. It's interesting that she says she's an atheist, but- Whoa, what the fuck? Why are you calling them she? <laughs> what the f What did she say? <laughs> no. No, that's like actually really not okay. Um, you get at the very, very absolute bare minimum if you're going to harass them in a video. Just use the pronouns that they like to use because it has nothing to do with you. And pronouns are not gender, nor are they sex. They're just words that we use to refer to other people. So have some fucking respect, Vanessa. Still believes in the idea that one can be born with a gendered soul that doesn't match your biological body. It's interesting that so many young people are rejecting theism, but still following a spiritual ideology. Being woke is the new religious. Okay. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with honoring what makes you happy and comfortable? Doesn't need to have any particular reason other than that. Doesn't need a religious reason or a spiritual reason. It's just what makes you happy. I don't understand how you could not want that for someone. I did not fit in at all. Um, I didn't really have any friends. Everyone thought I was fucking weird. I mean, it's kind of fair, but like, people were really mean to me. It was quite a sort of homophobic environment as well. I had a different bully every single year of school. I was called weird, I was called a spaz, I was told I should get a nose job, I was told that my haircut was ugly, that I dressed dorky. What I realized was the people that were bullying me felt insecure about something within themselves and were projecting that insecurity. You don't say Vanessa. So you don't think that maybe you're projecting onto other people, like trans women and non-binary people, when you're bullying them? Because you are bullying them. Constantly, you're bullying them. Telling them that they don't deserve a community, that their identity shouldn't be respected. You're already on to me. And a lot of the time, when people bully others, it's because they're jealous of someone's confidence, or they're jealous of their originality, or creativity, or individuality. You don't fucking say, Vanessa. You don't fucking say. Don't let the bullies get you down. Yeah, sorry, Mo. We just can't be friends with you because we think you're gay. Got a crush on a girl in my class went, ah, oh, I like women. If I was a young girl and my friends came up to me and said they couldn't be friends with me because they thought I was gay, I would be devastated because it's so cruel. And that's what girls do. They don't just bully, they psychologically torture you. Why do you hate other girls so much? Like, you don't really seem like a feminist is the thing. Because on the one hand, you're like, you have to have a uterus in order to be in my spaces. I don't want any men here. But then you turn around and you're attacking girls. I've been friends mostly with girls my entire life and I love them. I love being friends with girls. People are mean. There have been men who have been really mean to me and women who have been really mean to me. That's really, in my mind, not a gendered thing. Um, I just don't, like, your logic is so inconsistent to me and so hard to follow. They bully you by socially excluding you from their groups. I could see how that would be deeply, deeply traumatizing. You're crazy if you think that girls are the only people who socially exclude others. You're fucking crazy. It was really fun to experiment with your hair, your appearance and stuff, but something still wasn't feeling right and I didn't know what it was. And then I think when I was about 16, I stumbled across a YouTube video of a trans dude just talking about how he was trans. Do you see how this is the power of suggestion? When you're Or maybe it's the power of representation. When you don't know your entire life that there's another option 
and then you find someone who you relate to deeply, who makes you feel seen, who makes you feel like you have a place and there's a community in which you belong. That's not something malicious. And it's also what they're trying to offer to other people through their video. You're 16 and you're trying to find out, you know, what the world is going to be like when you're an adult and what kind of person you want to be. And this is the kind of message that you're getting sent. A trans man online saying, yeah, transition like me, it's great. I thought you could only be a trans man or a trans woman. So I was really confused and I started to question whether or not I might be a trans man. I'd watch the transition timelines and there'd be some things that I was like, I want that. You know, I'd see pictures of top surgery and I'd be like, I want that. Like, I just, I knew I wanted it. Top surgery is a cutesy name for calling a double mastectomy which is a surgical procedure to remove the breast tissue from a woman, usually because the breast tissue is cancerous. A young woman, a 16 year old with healthy breasts, pining to have them cut off. It's, this is the darkest timeline to me. <laughs> I, I don't know how anyone could not see that that is deeply, deeply troubling. Um. So this is on my channel already. I have had a breast reduction. Um, they removed five pounds of tissue from my breasts because they were healthy. They were totally healthy breasts. They were nice. Um, they were just really big and um, they caused me a lot of pain, um, physical and emotional pain. Um, and honestly, the main reason that I wanted to get a reduction wasn't just because of the physical pain. It was because of the emotional pain as well and the social pain that came from being like a 17 year old girl with huge K cut breasts. Um, and while I know that top surgery and a breast reduction are not the same thing, I think that it's really stupid to say that removing healthy breast tissue is the part of the darkest timeline. And it's their body, it's their body. And if that is the way that they're going to be most comfortable in it, I don't see why that's any of your business. Testosterone, just man. If I was to take it, I would just be seen as a man and I'm not binary like that's not what I want to go for. So she doesn't want to be seen as a woman. She doesn't want to be seen as a man. She wants to be seen as a boy. What the fuck? They just said they want to be seen as non-binary. Do you know what gender is? Okay, let's talk about this. Gender is a spectrum, like the color spectrum, okay? And there are a lot of different points across it. Um, gender identity and gender presentation are different things. Gender presentation exists on a spectrum in which you can go from being more feminine, more masculine, or in the center, more androgynous. This person is explaining that they don't want to be feminine presenting or masculine presenting. They want to be androgynous presenting. That is an incredibly normal fucking thing to want. There's nothing revolutionary about this. You just don't know anything about gender. Some weird in-between spirit. Weird in-between? Dude. Spiritual mystical gender? Spiritual mystical gender. I don't know if this is like her being a colonizing ass bitch because of course there are different cultures in which there are more than two gender identities. You know, there are sometimes different identities for people who, who are respected as having spiritual and mystical pow powers within the religion. Uh, for you to have that little taunting voice and say, oh, another spiritual, mystical, weird gender is just fucking racist. So what is wrong with you? <laughs> really made me think that I might be trans because I was like, man, I mean, people are seeing me as a dude and I mean, it, it feels better than being seen as a woman. That's a really eye-opening statement as well. Saying that you'd rather be seen as a man or a boy than be seen as a woman. What's wrong with being seen as a woman? I don't think that they have any problem with women. It's just that they're not a woman. Ta-da! Why, why do you hate being seen as a woman so much that you'd be willing to remove parts of your body? Do you want to be seen as a man? 
you wouldn't have to remove any part of your body. You could just be seen as a man. Is that what you want? Or would you be upset about that because you're not a man? I wasn't comfortable being seen as a dude. The reason I had felt comfortable was just because I was happy that people weren't seeing me as a woman. What she really means here is she was happy people weren't viewing her as a sexual object. No. That's actually not what they're saying. You're just putting words in their mouth. I've been sort of binding, using stuff to bind since I was about 13. Girls binding their breasts has a long history. There are places in Africa where young girls are encouraged to do this to discourage men from raping them. Yeah, there are. And those people aren't your tools to oppress others. Do not weaponize other people's trauma. It's disrespectful and disgusting. I'm gonna be happy with like that part of my body unless I get top surgery. You know, like, I just hate it. I hate it so much and it makes me so uncomfortable. Why are we saying that self-hatred is worthy of validation? It's not. It never is. If there's something on your body that makes you really uncomfortable, it's okay to seek comfort for yourself and to use surgeries to get those things. It's actually okay. It's okay. If that is what you need to be comfortable with yourself. It's not an act of self-hatred to go ahead and give yourself the comfort of reclaiming your body. That's an act of love. Self-hatred would be to force yourself to say, no, other people are okay with this, so that means that I have to be as well. It's trying to fit yourself into a box in which you do not fit. That is what hatred is. Self-love is owning your own body and doing what is best for you. And if that's getting top surgery, then I really hope you get it. Being pushed towards the medical pathway instead of getting psychological treatment for their self-hatred, their internalized misogyny, their internalized homophobia. Again, I find this incredibly hypocritical because you are obviously someone with a lot of internalized misogyny and a lot of internalized homophobia. So who are you to tell anyone else what treatment they should be receiving? People like Mo and the trans man that she saw at 16 are narcissistic. They're trying to placate their own need for attention by making other people validate their sickness. Okay. Um, I didn't expect her to say that. Wow. Um, I don't understand how anyone can be filled with that amount of hate and ignorance um, and then record it and upload it to YouTube. But she did. Um, and rather than having to flame her on that one, because obviously we can all look at that and say she does not know what a narcissist is, um, and that that was a horrible thing to say about another human being, that they're pushing their sickness on somebody else by trying to extend an open hand and tell people who are confused that they have a community um horrible horrible thing to say about another human being um so instead i am just gonna say to mo that um i hope you know that she's wrong and she's lying and there's nothing wrong that you did and i think that there are gonna be so many non-binary people who look up to you and see your video and feel that there's a place in the world for them and that's really beautiful. Um, I'm so sorry if you had to watch that said about yourself. I really am. Helpful. Feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter if you have any questions. Okay, groomer. Okay, let's talk about the things that Vanessa doesn't know anything about. Number one, grooming, I guess. Number two, um, she doesn't know what gender is. Um, 
also doesn't know about self-hatred versus self-love. Um, there's a lot going on here. I think what we learned today is that people like Vanessa um, are so full of hate, so incredibly stupid. No research behind any of their blabber at all that um, they should really just be ignored. So I watched this video so you didn't have to. Um, please don't go to her page. Don't give her any attention. Don't do anything. Just move on with your life. Go follow and support trans and non-binary people because they're valid and they deserve it. <laughs> all right, that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go to Ramira, give your reflection a big kiss for me.